Back over here in Revit, the architect has been hard at work developing the model, but with no real relation to Revit's internal origin point, project base point, or survey point, or how it will eventually tie into the project site's coordinate system. But that's okay because we're going to correct that using the shared reference point tool. To begin, I've prepped the floor plan for the architectural model showing only the elements I want to share with the civil engineer, and I've also created a new view category to help separate it from the rest of the production views. The view that I'm sharing with Civil 3D is basically a stripped down view of the floor plan showing only information that is relevant to the civil designer. Information such as footing locations, walls, doors, room names. In other words, information that will help them coordinate the utility entry points into the building and not overload the drawing and the civil designer with any unnecessary information like floor patterns, furniture, light fixtures, etc. For this particular view, I've also included two plan regions to see the utility room and parking entrance location from the level below. At this point, I'm ready to export my Civil 3D specific view to a DWG file. You need to export to DWG format because Civil 3D cannot read Revit RVT files natively. As you go through this process, verify that the units are set correctly and that shared coordinates is also selected. For the next step, uncheck the option for separate XREFs. This will make the coordination process simpler since you'll only have one drawing file to coordinate within Civil 3D. I'm saving the exported floor plan to my Autodesk Docs project, just as I had done with the InfoWorks model in Civil 3D drawing.